So I'm going to wait until hopefully a few people will join us. Hello, everybody. Uh, art, making art makes us just calm down and feel like we're at least a little in control. And so if you didn't get the materials list, I'll go through it again and you can... Hi, Jonna. <laughs> um, so, materials list, just a whole, and by the way, if you've never done any art before, this is kind of a fun way to just really um, experiment and see if you like the process. It's very unintimidating and fun, and um, just join us. We. You know, we're just making art, that's all. <laughs> so just some copy paper or drawing paper. Um, you just some drawing materials, pencil, markers, anything like that. You need some paint, either watercolors or acrylics or both. Some brushes and water and a rag or paper towel and one piece of firm paper that you're going to be painting on and that paper can be watercolor paper or mixed media paper or anything that is a little firmer than just your copy paper but if you just have drawing paper that's okay too this is not gonna go into a museum. Don't worry, it's just fun. So I'm gonna give everyone a chance. If you want to, um, let's see, there we go. Um, let's see if uh, anyone comes on board, I'm gonna wait for a few minutes. And um, make sure if you have any questions, I guess you could put it in the comment section or you can just say hello to me through the comment section or wave at me and um, get your drawing materials together. Your, you, you know, drawing paper, you can use even just copy paper or regular drawing paper and um, you know pencils or pens I like using this is a Tombow marker I like it because it has a brush tip so it's kind of like a little brush and it's also water soluble so when you put water with it it mixes and it creates this really cool kind of flowing fluid um, kind of process um, and we will start in a few minutes maybe I'll give one more minute and then we'll start it's just today it's a little shorter just gonna be like 25 minutes 30 minutes um and so let me see if i can wave at carla hello carla um okay so you've got your materials your paper for drawing pencils markers some paint and a sturdy piece of paper for your final kind of painting. So what you're gonna do is actually, you're gonna take some paper around your house and you're gonna find, you may wanna write this down. You're gonna find one yellow shape, one orange shape, one blue one and one green one. So I'm going to show you what I have collected and then I'm going to give you a few minutes to go around your house 
and collect those objects, just draw those objects. You don't have to collect them, you can if you want to. And so I'm gonna show you for my yellow object, choose objects that you like the shapes of and have a few, you know, maybe they're different from each other. So my yellow object is a lemon. And then I'm going to take um, my paper and I'm gonna just draw the shape of the lemon on here. Then I'm gonna take my other object so this is my green object. I went into the garden and I found this kale leaf that some little bugs had started eating. And I actually like those shapes. So I'm gonna bring that back or draw it out there and I'm gonna draw the shape of that object. So four objects. This is my orange vase. This is a shape I really love. And then for my blue one, I chose a mask. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a few minutes to go and go around and find a yellow, an orange, a green, and a blue shape. You can either bring them back to your table or you can draw the shapes while you're looking at them wherever they are. They're just a, just a shape, it's not a big deal. And, the, and it can be as big as you want it. So I'm gonna draw a few objects on here so you can see I'll stand up. So the, my one paper I think is gonna be my lemon. So I'm gonna look, the lemon, it, the thing I like about it is it's different because it has that little thing on the top. And then uh, there's a little stalk. And then that's my lemon shape. Okay, and you're gonna do that for each piece of paper. So I will go to, I'm gonna tilt this down to my desk so you can see what I am doing. Hopefully you can see my desk. So I am gonna now draw my, my kale leaf and I'm just going to look at it while I draw. It's got little bumps on it all the way around. Then it comes down. There's a stalk. And, oh, let's see. I always, I, when I teach kind of observation and drawing in my mixed media classes, I always tell people to Imagine there's a little ant crawling around the object and you following that little ant and it's going down a hill and up and down and around and there's a little shape there that the bugs had gotten. There's a little shape there and that is my green shape. So I've got my yellow shape and my green shape on two different papers. Now I'm going to draw my orange shape, which is the vase that I chose. So I'll draw it upside down so you can see it the right way. I'm just going to draw an ellipse for the top of it and then it the edges kind of have these little bumps on them. And um, when I get to the bottom, the bottom of the vase is always parallel to the opening at the top. And I'm not drawing any perfection here at all. All I'm doing is creating 
some different shapes. I can put these shapes inside if I want to, some details. And that's my orange shape. This, this was what I was drawing as my orange shape, this base. And then I'm gonna, so I've got my green, my orange, my yellow. Now I'm gonna do a blue shape, my blue shape, which is my mask. <laughs> The only blue thing I could find right now around my house so I'm just you know what you want to do is just simplify the shape you don't want to get into too many details we are just none of what we do in our classes is terribly academic it's more um, you know, making sure that you're observant of things and then not only being observant, but allowing your mind to quieten down as you draw or paint. It's art is an extremely healing um, Art is extremely healing. And this is not a great drawing by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not what I'm after. What I'm after is one, that shape, just four different shapes. So anyone who's come in later, we are asked everyone to go around their house and collect a yellow shape, an orange shape, a blue shape, and a green shape. And maybe you can see my face here. Okay, so so what and and I want different shapes. So again, my yellow shape was a lemon. My green shape was a leaf from the garden. My orange shape was this vase. They're all different shapes. And my blue one was my mask. So I drew them very, very simply on four different pieces of drawing paper. That's all. No big deal. No one is going to be judging what you're doing. So now, um, I probably should give everyone time to get these four drawings done. So while you're doing your four drawings of your four different shapes, what I'm going to do is turn my camera down so you can see what I'm gonna do is lay out those shapes in front of me. So I'm gonna turn down my camera so you can see. So you can see my desk, hopefully. So I'm gonna put these, all of these, out in front of me all of these four shapes and hopefully you guys have created your shapes you don't have to spend too long on it but the idea of this project was to find shapes <clears throat> that you can combine in a way to make an abstract painting. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these four shapes and uh, on a sketch paper I can do this or, um, and then once I've finalized what I want to do, I'll put it on the firmer paper but what I'm going to be doing is 
combining these shapes in a way that is interesting to me. So let me turn this down just a little bit more so you can see. So I am going to start with my, um, I think I'll start with my vase uh, in the middle. I'm going to draw upside down so you can see me. And this is my vase. I'm just drawing half of it for now. Because I'm then going to choose my leaf. to go over it okay this is I'm showing you one way to do this so I'm overlapping this shape And then I think I'm going to do a big lemon. Overlap the lemon all the way and make a giant lemon that way. Now I can, if I want to, can include my mask if I want to, but I can just do like half of it and I kind of like the contrast in the mask that had straight lines over here compared to the curvy lines so I might just do that as my kind of background um, and then close this off so this is sort of my idea for combining all of the shapes and creating kind of a start for an abstract painting. Now, those of you who've studied with me before know that another option would be to cut the shapes that you had made. my lemon here's my leaf so you would then be make instead of drawing the shapes on your piece of paper you would be collaging them together in an interesting composition so I'm going fast because uh, I want to get to the next part without, without us losing too much time. Uh, the mask, I'll just do that for now. This is, will take a little more time, but it's actually, I think, a little more fun to do it as a collage piece so you're putting them together in an interesting way where's my last one what did i do with my other one oh here this one
This was my orange vase. So now I have all of my shapes and now I can actually arrange them by collaging them on and sticking them on to a substrate. Nothing stopping you from cutting this in half and rearranging it that way. You can overlap them. You can do all sorts of different ways to put them together. Now, of course, you know, there are so many different possibilities so if you want to spend a lot of time on this part, you absolutely can. And you can put, you know, you can, you can decide how you want to do this. But remember the idea here, I'll just take off that leaf, that edge probably wouldn't be so good. And, you know, you can separate them so there's space in between. They don't, don't have to cover the whole piece. And then you can take a glue stick and stick them down onto a substrate. Any firm paper will do. So that's the um, collage possibility. And then... If you're just doing the drawing like I did here, you can transfer the drawing onto a more um, sturdy surface in order to paint it. But I'm just going to do the painting right on here so that you can see what I'm doing. Again... What I do always in my classes is I try to give prompts that'll make people kind of stop being fearful of starting something, you know, and just give you a prompt. And then once you over that hump of, oh, what am I supposed to paint? I don't know why, where to start. Once you're over that hump, then you're like, oh, wow, I could do an interesting painting thing there. So you take your paint and you can decide if you want to use watercolor or, or acrylic or a combination of both. And you do not have to paint a green leaf green. I am going to paint that red and I'm just going to fill in that shape over there. Now this is not painting paper so you see it's not really the best absorption and it will crinkle but it doesn't matter. This is just kind of a study and maybe I'll take that same color and move it into some of these shapes over here. So I like to repeat colors in different parts, the same color in different parts of the painting, because that creates a movement with my eye. So maybe I'll do this as a thin line up here. And then I'll go on to my next color. So let's say I'll choose this kind of aqua color. I'm not thinking too much about which colors I'm choosing. This is fun. That's all it is. It's not serious. It's just a way of kind of accessing our creativity in a supportive environment with someone who 
just is giving you a prompt and an idea and um, allowing your mind to calm down and be still because when you're painting you really don't think of too much else and that's why art for me is an incredibly healing tool and so I'm just you can paint along hopefully you're painting along with me and or you're just watching me that's also okay but once you've made something I'd love it if you could just post it on this um, private Facebook group so that we can all see what you're doing what you've done and I've used watercolors here but now I'm going to use some um, some acrylic paints these are just black paints and um, the number three is kind of a magic number when you're working with colors and shapes um, you'll see when I'm just I've just created this awesome e-course about the four most important elements of art but in a you know not in a terribly academic more in a playful way but it really helps with your work when you're making decisions about um, about where to you know if something feels like it's just not working for you and you know a little bit about the elements of art it really does help and that course is like I don't know about three hours four hours worth of of me teaching um, so anyway, you're going to just keep on going with this kind of idea. Again, there's no real, real wrong way to do this. And I'm just choosing any old colors. You can mix colors as well. So maybe I'll mix a little bit of white in with this blue. and create that color for the leaf. You notice I have not made the objects their actual color. I've abstracted them. And the shapes have become abstract as well. So it's a good way to, if you're just, you know, wanting to make a painting and you just don't know where to start. This is kind of a fun way to do it. And so you're going to keep on going. I'm just like choosing colors here that are crazy. I would probably normally be a little more restrained with my colors, but what the heck? We're just having fun. That's the object. And hopefully you guys are just enjoying yourselves. And when I finish here, hopefully you'll carry on and you'll show us what you're doing. This is more watery with the way I'm doing it over here. So you can choose to. I am now, um, let's see, where am I going to go here? I guess I'll do a little bit of the light yellow. Mix it with white, the yellow ochre. 
So least it's related a little bit to this yellow over here. I'll fill this in here. And um, let's see, what else will I do? Oh, I know, forgot about these stripies over here. We want them to at least have a connection to this part of the piece. And I'm going to put, I like to have a combination of dark, dark tones and medium tones and light tones. Those are all something that I discuss in my elements course. It's, it's really makes for, if you can see there's dark, the dark blue, and then the medium tone is probably these, and then the light is this, and I'm gonna leave those whites there for now. One more thing I wanna say before I leave is you can take paint and create shapes or lines or something like that, which um, hopefully you can see all of this a little closer, which kind of ties the whites together in some way. You can do it with white. You can also use, this is not black. I thought I got black. Um, well, I'll use the blue for now as my dark version. Um, and let's say I'll do this. So immediately it creates a little bit of texture and it ties the darks in. Of course, you can also do dots. Um, and you can just keep on going, man. This stuff. Uh, and, you know, there's all this space around which you can also obviously be working into. So that's my, maybe I'll do a little bit around here in watercolor and see what happens. I might completely ruin things, but it's a different color. But you can do watercolor around it. You can keep some of it white. You can keep all of it white. And um, that is how we started, of course, is far away from this painting. But really, I hope you had fun because I did. <laughs> so, so everyone, just please uh, post what you did if you can. Um, Carry on enjoying it and remember that art is like meditating. It's, it it's calms your mind, it accesses your creative spirit, which is something inside you that is a little more free than you realize, because our lives do not feel free right now. So this is a way of liberating yourself within your, from within yourself. And I hope you enjoy, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I hope you'll join us in our future um, live videos every two weeks at 11 o'clock on Thursdays. On Fridays, I do a, a more uh, in-depth Zoom class. If you want to join that, 
And then I also had these e-courses, uh, as I said, the one on the elements of art is coming out, should be within a week. But I'll let you all know, and I appreciate you um, participating, and I hope you're all safe and well and healthy.